was. But yeah, I mean, I, like like you said, what would uh, life be without weird gothic eroticism? Well, I mean, yes, A, with the Tecmo series, uh, or sorry, not this Tecmo series, the Tecmo Koi game of yeah. uh, romance, or not romance. <laughs> God. <laughs> I got everything wrong. Romance here. of the Gothic Trap Murder. <laughs> yes. Um, deception. What's the point of murdering people with ro- go- with uh, demonic traps if you're not dressed slutty when you do it? They've got the Gothic Eroticism of Deception series after the original tech was Deception. Plus, now the latest installment in the Castlevania series, I'm sure you've heard, is an erotic horror pachinko machine. <laughs> I didn't know that, but I'm glad I'm being kept up to really so they, so this is like, this is essentially what uh Iga what uh what Iga and Hideo Kojima uh, apparently were going to be assigned to do is start making pachinko machines taking licensed characters that they either created or have been using and putting them into erotic horror pachinko machines. I mean, you know, I I have an I'm an accounting degree. I understand the pachinko business. machines, like 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 an individual pachinko machine, could probably make you know like what the, what profits they would end up with out of the next Metal Gear Solid like game. I you guess know. I don't know. Over. I've I have no idea whether or not Castlevania games are pulling in any scratch uh, the last couple of games, but I, it's just sad. I mean, sometimes some of my favorite games from my childhood are fairly obscure, and I think it, like maybe it's just as well it didn't take off into a series with. Some good sequels, some shitty sequels, and an erotic pachinko machine. <laughs> you know, the River City Ransom obviously had more legs in Japan than it did here. But I'm, yeah, the I'm Ricky Kunio series. Not hearing about an erotic uh, pachinko You haven't heard machine. about any Ricky Kinkio series. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, you know, uh, what's this? I'm, I'm, now I'm flashing back to, like, you know, Clash of Demon Head. No, I loved that game when I was a kid. No erotic pachinko machine, to the best of my knowledge. Dynasty Warriors, though, it could still Dynasty be in the future. Dynasty Warriors, erotic pachinko, probably happening if it hasn't already. <laughs> probably it. Yep. Well, anyway, folks, um, well, I'm not even going to pretend like, oh, hey, the folks are here. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, I'm the Serious CG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. Having lost his father. It's not that I was filled with emotions he's attacked. No, last time... Um, <laughs> this is filled with strange new emotions he doesn't understand. <laughs> like sexual desire for scantily clad pachinko characters. Yes. Last time we uh we attacked Tao Quain and um we fucked up, we fucked up, we fucked up. I forgot it was one where there was like a extra objective you had to do. Yeah. I'm gonna blame Bobo because uh I went back to Garden. Yeah, I was camp. the one chasing him down and I did not catch up to him. Yeah, now I didn't do it on my first try either. And and actually what I did is uh, off screen before we started recording here, just soloing because while Bobo was actually on his way here to play. Yeah. Um, when you're playing single player, obviously you don't have the option of defending the main camp and going after this guy at the same time. They don't take your main camp fast enough for it to be a problem if you are anywhere close to fast enough to actually get this guy because there are specific officers you have to take out quickly. There are other officers you have to just ignore. Yeah. Because if anybody who, who like, you know, they're it's it's classic dynasty warriors ever since i guess um i guess it really started around 5 but um you know plot purposes like they, they stop you from just charging get you know i'm not, not making any sense here it really started around 6 cuz in 5 you were frequently able to just like it's the battle of wujang plains i'm just going to ignore everything and kill sumayi and win the battle of wujang plains in like 5 minutes and then you're sometimes able to do that, and yeah. then they started making like you would like, have to kill a few guard captains to get through a few gates, but but that yeah yeah that would be about it. And I don't yeah I don't even think the guard captains in the original DW5 I don't remember if they had that that would be to take an actual base, but you could you could like bulldoze past stuff. Certainly you could win the Yellow Turban Rebellion without dealing with any of the any sorcerers of the and shit. Yeah. Um, and in the later games, and this is a classic one, it's like, no, every plot character is behind, like, four sealed gates that only open when you do this plot thing. And, um, like, you can have a, a hundred million man advantage, and you can't touch Cao Cao because he's on the other side of a thin wooden door that's locked. But in this game, like, uh, Tao Quain appears on the wrong side of a locked door, and you have to keep finding the person who is, you know the locked door is defended by and anybody who says something like we will protect mr tal queen or uh we have you now you are trapped 
you have to kill them. Anybody yeah. who doesn't say something like that, you have to ignore. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was able to do it, so yay. And uh, for um, so everybody knows, when you kill Master Tao Quan, oh, and, and um, I think it's Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei are attacking your main camp, and they say some stuff, but... Like, anybody you recognize as a shoe officer, you ignore. Tao Queen's generics, you kill. And uh, when you defeat Tao Queen, um, instead of Liu, Liu Bei saying, Master Tao Queen's escaped, now we can defend the province. He says, oh no, Master Tao Queen, we will defend the province. <laughs> it, it makes no difference. It, it's actually the most remarkable part about it. The one thing I kind of wish you guys got to see was how completely flat and emotionless Liu Bei's read is. <laughs> oh no, Master Tao Queen. No, we will defend the province. It's like, oh shit, I'm so sad the guy got <laughs> killed, man. Anyway. But yeah, back to it now. Uh, we unlocked a uh, mission that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise, and that's where Bobo has joined me and where we're going to continue with our let's play. So again, having lost his father, Tao Tao was filled with emotion as he attacked Tao Quain and Zhu Prom. And the music picks back up, too. Meanwhile, somebody else viewed this as a good opportunity to seize the Yan province for his own. Was it cowboys? Maybe. <sighs> it was the wild beast of the scouting world, Lu Bu. He was looking for cowboys. Having lost the power struggle that ensued after he assassinated Dong Zhuo, he has been forced to wander. Upon obtaining secret information from somebody within South South's camp, he... Yeah, you can't sneak this past me. He immediately moved to attack Yan province. <laughs> He's already left, but his text remained. Despite not having recovered from the scars of his previous battle, Yan Province was once a, a once against thrust into chaos. Yan Khan Province once against thrust. I will not let this beast simply do as he pleases. Xiao Dun had been entrusted with the defense of Yan Province of Pudiang and eagerly went forth to meet Lu Bu in battle. <laughs> Pudiang. <laughs> Once they learned of Lu Bu's sudden attack, Xiao Yuan and Yu Jian also raised to Xiao Dun's side. And the names just keep getting harder to say. It is our duty to stand behind Soto and help him protect uh, help protect him, sorry, on this further conquest. The fighting spirit inside these men's burn bright in the fields of Pudi Yang. So <laughs> I keep forgetting what his catchphrase was. <laughs> was it as good as the other guys though? Uh yeah, I remember what the fuck this. We keep, and yeah, that's what I remember. we keep going too many too many weeks between uh, sessions. Um, I'm sure we're gonna have to play as well. Maybe not. Xiao Yuan obviously is gonna be a big player at the uh, battle, uh, battle of Mount Dingjun. Uh, and the only question is, do you play as him, or do you play as somebody else? If you play as him, it's gonna be fairly easy to prevent him from getting killed there because that's the big historical thing. Yeah. Dynasty Warriors Eight is all about like allowing you to circumvent. Uh, historical things. Like, you get to help... It enables you to Lubu's, surpass history. They allow you to surpass history. Yeah, Lubu's story wasn't a good example of it, actually. But, um... You can you can help him avoid losing a battle he historically lost. You can help him avoid <laughs> losing Jiao Chan and, ha and gaining a daughter. And other I was gonna say, like, it, well. it is a good example of it in the well, sense... Well, in the ending, where you yeah. can, like, he can take like, over he China. He but, China. <laughs> yeah. But, like, the, like... You you unlock that second path by doing stuff differently in the first half of the Muso and it's, yeah it's a, yeah so one of the things you're supposed to do I think is way to like change history and surpass history Mark Henry style split somebody's wig is I'm pretty sure we have to save Yao Yuan so I'll give him a chance to get leveled up a bit all right and uh, let's see I don't play as Yao Dun often but I'm pretty sure I have yet to play as Yu Jin so couldn't tell you I kind of don't remember. Out. Give him a shot. And it'll give us a chance to uh, learn what is uh decrease the damage you see from enemy officer. Inspiring battle cry is. Defeat an enemy officer with a switch counter. See the 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 uh, the skills that say twenty next to him uh, have been fully leveled. Like a skill yeah, increases by one level um, every time you do whatever. You do certain the thing things, is. and you yeah. can't even like I, you can't even see what they were. I don't know what it was you did to increase attack boost. It doesn't show you one. Steely Heart, defeat an enemy with a switch counter. Um, I, it's not something that happens that often. Yeah. So actually, I might want to get rid of that and go with something else. Um, oh, Equestrian can be handy, but defense boost defense. is probably the simplest one. Defense up! Defense down. <laughs> I 
Seven Seasons! Dark Seasons. <laughs> It would take you like a half an hour, but you could exhaust your enemies and the supply by making them continued cast debuffs on you while you used an item that buffed you what that a... you could use infinitely. <laughs> I, I, I'd forgotten all about that game. <laughs> oh, Equestrian might actually be better than a uh, defense boost, uh, at least until we get in trouble. Then you went right past Yeah, well, because I don't know what I'm doing. So, like, I got lots of conical blades. Sounds great. Sounds pretty awesome. Alright. We're got we about the same level, too. I want to see my moves. And I think they're the same they're as the yours, Triangle Triangle. I yeah, shall not disappoint you. There you go. Now I know same what he was. Looking forward to fun with that guy. It's not going to be his point. Hey, it's a tiny little space here. We don't have uh, all that many guys stuck to. I thought you were about to say it's a tiny little spaceship, and I was a little confused. <laughs> it's a tiny little spaceship. Alright, brother. Hey, yeah, Jen. Are you, are you doing? How are you doing? I will not disappoint you. Our army is small, and our opponent is the Great Lubu. Of course, the troops are going to feel intimidated. All I can do is lead the advance guard, and hope that clears away everyone's fears. You will not disappoint me. Oh, no. Hey, let me tell you something about our Lord Tell Tell. Hey, let me ask you something. <laughs> the man really loves wine. He apparently likes to stop poetry when he drinks. At least he's a fun drunk. There are some drunks who turn really mean. Were you talking to somebody else? Was there two privates in that conversation? No, nope, it's just him. Another battle. I hope the fields are spared. Yeah, well. Be careful whenever you make any adjustments to your weapons. Be careful when you make any adjustments while holding your weapon. What's with that strategist? Where is he when he need him most? That's Bobo's Bobo voice. <laughs> Mr. Chen Gong, no, he wouldn't dare. That's uh, JG's JG voice. Right? He does a special character when he does most of his opening. No, I, I sounded more different than usual. <laughs> it's over. If I fight against Lu Bu, my life is over. I wanted to have at least one success in my life, but I, but I, I'm sorry. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> well, what's that other guy? Uh, uh, our opponent is Lu 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 Bu. <laughs> He's definitely going to defeat us. Mm-hmm. Lu Bu has a man named Zhang Liao working for him. He is also supposed to be very strong. Have you heard about this, Artu? <laughs> beep, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that's on force. Have to wonder why it's 65 mammoths or someone like Lu Bu. Uh. That Lu Bu really is awful, isn't he? He killed his adoptive father and then betrayed Dong Zhua. What's next? Just faster with three fathers. Does he think he can get away with anything just because he's strong? We live in very terrible times indeed. Never before have I seen such a shocking <laughs> and vulgar flair. Root. Shocking and vulgar act of patricide. Have you seen or heard from Master Chen Gong? I haven't seen him around lately. See, that's not the voice I would have thought of for that face. But, um, <laughs> to Master Chen Gong, huh? Thought he was, uh, I guess, uh, thought he was one of ours. Is that what they're telling us? That he's. I mean, we know who Chen Gong is. Was he supposed mm. to be on our side? I didn't even know. The Chen Gong's Chen Gang? The Chen Gang, yeah. I saw myself, Master Chen Gong's leave during the middle of the night. I should have informed you sooner. Forgive me. Yeah, well, oh, uh, innocent one. You, you, you probably should have told us you saw him deserting his post, but okay, no problem. Well, I'm sure it won't come back to haunt us. The mighty Lu Bu has only one weakness. He's in love with a woman named Jiaoshan. You're in love with a beautiful Jiaoshan. Watch me. 
No, that's not a weakness. Just see what happens after you try to attack her in battle. He's already frightening enough, but you'll just make him even more terrifying. The same, only more violent. Mr. Yuijin was the first to reach Lord Jiao Dun when he was in danger. He sure is fast. Don't forget Lord Jiao Yuan. He's just as fast. That's right. The ladies say I'm the fastest man of the Wednesday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that Lu Bu. I don't know where he got his information, but that attack was cowardly. Lu Bu's main forces have not arrived yet. We need to finish this before they do. The enemy's surprise attack has left Zhu Zhu the, 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 <laughs> surrounded. The first thing we need to do is rescue him. Now let's go. We will hunt down these. We will hunt down these chaos during causing beasts. I'm sorry. I, I thought I was gonna hunt down chaos. Was, you can never let your guard down around Lu. We don't have a choice. I sure hate to smash him without reason, but... I feel like I'm not the character you're supposed to be playing as, and that's why they're giving me all this expository dialogue. I'm supposed oh, wait, to... I am Mr. What About This. So. Well, what about that? Well, that's a, that's a real change of two in there, too. Oh. Oh, Fight to bring glory to our forces. But what about this? I'm gonna betray us all of a sudden. I kill everyone I encounter. So we still I know you kill everyone, but what about these? Respond. <laughs> Communications with Strut F of C. Now. <laughs> I think that's a little overkill on him there. Bismarck? Ah, I've figured out for sure that they've got a plan. I'm not gonna try to figure out what it is, though. So happy to see you. My thanks. You have saved me from certain death. Quick, give us a hat like yours. Dude, this is strange. There aren't very oh, many. Dune, you pushed him aside like he was a non-plot character. Got you. 
you pathetic fools. Cousin! Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. By now, Fu Yang Castle will have fallen to Master Lu Bu. You've got nowhere to run. Too bad. Not that it matters, because I'm going to fire a few more arrows. Maybe okay? I should have done that earlier. <laughs> well, but it was a big I'm deal fine. that Ji Hao Doon actually cut if down I'm... the guy who shot his own eye before even eyes. pulling the arrow free. Huh. Well, no, actually, he pulled the arrow free first. Hurry! Lu Bu awaits at Puyang. Um, you want to, like, take a breather for the rest of this fight, dude? We can handle it. Uh, you want to get some antiseptic or something? It might be... Like, I'll be fine, as long as I can eat my own eye. <laughs> oh, that's good treachery. <laughs> Cutting out my brother's eye. That's just rude. Oh, I just took out the guy that I thought was the one who actually took out his eye. Right here on Raw. Oh. I got locked in the little chamber. There we go. Let's start by fighting about how to get out of here. I think we should get out of here by going east. What do you think? Well... Sorry, it doesn't happen immediately at the uh, camera. Just, uh, I mean, fighting about it, okay. Don't you see? Ah, uh, still yours. <laughs> Started riding through a gate before it even opened. Not even if we kill this gatekeeper over here. Wow, your uh, eyes looking a lot better in your portrait there, uh, cousin brother. Brother cousin. The dunes are from that one. Yeah, see, he's still got his both eyes. He's doing fine. Didn't we already hear that? I guess I'm meant to be going south, so keep their attention off of me. I left the guy like one head away from death, so... I've killed like a hundred people down here, but hopefully their attention's not on me. Hey, I said hang on a second. Shit. Um, how do you get... Uh, there we go. Who are you? Well, you're dead anyway, whoever you are. And there's Wank Eye up there. Oh, shit. Jing Zhao is still hanging out here, so maybe kill me. You uh, know how to switch weapons when you see red exclamation points. Yeah. Seriously, I thought my getting hit with a Muso tactic was perfect. And I fight to work, of course. Never felt better. How you feeling, Dan? <laughs> eh. I don't know why I'm trying to break that arm. Maybe get the unfavorable power. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's why you're doing it. I guess I can't really say. Oh, I 
damaging, Leo. Let me pull off my fish. Do-do-do, <laughs> I'm leaning against the castle. Lol. Oh shit, we saw. Oh, there's an orange thing running towards me. Oh, that's my horse. <laughs> that's the tiger, oh my god. So I guess I can't do anything until Jungle Leo is I guess, I'm not sure. I'm, I came where the plot told me to come. And uh, Zhang Liao's got like glowing with red superpowers, so. Alright, it's not going I down. I thought I was trying to distract. I, I, I stayed with the guys that were supposed to theoretically be. Yeah, no, I think that's what was supposed to happen. Well, you guys are all just hanging out playing the agenda. And we actually should be down now. Jing Liao, do you submit? Well done. But you will never defeat Master Lu Bu. Jing Liao, pull that. From your loin line. Oh, wait. My screen are uh, being treated to be going as I run around the door. Yeah, I knew we shouldn't have uh, released this on both channels in a separate video. Both, uh, That's another enemy pounded into submission. Yeah, did you John's name for this date? Hold your horses, buddy. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get the, uh, plot of the What's the matter? Are you lost? Shouldn't you be outside riding back and forth going, whoa, whoa, whoa? That's a pretty good double triangle attack you've got. Yeah. You aren't not too bad as long as you can keep the enemy in front of you. It's, it's reminiscent, actually, of, uh, Chang Gong's, like, uh, it's Shadow it's Archers. Archers, although yours is more. Area you. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Buddha. Oh, like Although I said just moments ago that I never felt better, so apparently I'm feeling better every moment. Hey, I open the gate. Okay. Now, uh, that is Lu Bu in there, so, um, just in case. Well, right now it's Jing Bao, but I guess he probably hasn't appeared yet. Yeah, but I saw Jiao Chan, uh, her Jiao name Chan. through a gate. <laughs> You know, Chang Gong hasn't been doing much. Uh, I wonder if like an ambush is being planned. Now that Cao Cao is here to potentially cause us to get game over. What do you mean he had extra display? What about this? <laughs> idea right around the same time. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, please kill him off before, uh, okay. Take back this worthless castle, then. I don't need it. As long as I have Jiao Chan's corpse. You have my gratitude for retaking. You have my gratitude. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just glad. 
that it's all over. Yeah, he was like, he was over here, and well, like, I could be scoring a lot more KOs, but probably just juggling him here eternally. Well, that was my plan too. Yeah. I I triggered it too soon. I used, I think I took out, I may have taken out, taken out, Chan. Chan. I'm pretty sure I took out Jia Chan. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, it's about to run out right after he gets pissed off. This Chao Chao slew Chao Quinn in Zhu province, uh, thereby staking his claims on the strongest military forces ever. Meanwhile, his men managed to repel Lu Bu's attack on Nan province. Chao Chao continued to cultivate his strength, centered in the city of Zhu Chao. Then, three years after the Battle of Zhu province, a new opportunity presented itself. He once again revealed a secret letter from the Emperor who is in Chang'an. The Emperor wished to escape from under the control of Liu Zhu, Liu Qi, and the others who had... Responding to the Emperor's desperate plea for help, Cao Cao set out for Chang'an in order to assist him. Of course, Cao Cao's reasons were not entirely altruistic. He knew of the power it would bring him. However, a man with ambitions of his own anticipated Cao Cao's move and looked to prevent it. Would Cao Cao, Zhao Yuan, Li Dian, and Zhu Huang be able to drive off this... Cao Cao was determined to take the Emperor with him at all costs. Only the long road to Zhu Chang lay before people. Stop. Come on. There Bounce. you have it, folks. <laughs> Come on, pal. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> yes. Well, there you go, folks. We're right back where we started from. Uh, that side mission done. We're back to the mission that uh, awaited us last time. And it still awaits us next time, as it did last time. Yes. We're going to rescue the Emperor, and he's going to be so happy with his new protector. Mm -hmm. I'm Mr. CG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and we hope you'll join in next time for more Dynasty Warriors 8. Extreme oh. Legends, whatever edition, <laughs> complete edition, with yep. player two joining the battle. Erotic Pachinko. <laughs> Erotic Pachinko edition.